This is Thursday, January the 14th, 2021. This is World History. Now, we have had the meeting of the Estates General. The third estate calls for the first and second estate to pay taxes. There is some support, but the first and second estates say no. Now, the third estate calls for the creation of a national assembly. At first, the third estate is locked out but they will then simply retire to the king's indoor tennis courts. And there they will have their meeting, and they will put pressure on the king to create a national assembly. King Louis XVI will agree, and the Estates General is no more. Now back in Paris, the Parisians are excited to hear about this change in government. There are many Parisians who believe that the king should go, that we should have a form of government very similar to the United States. The Parisians are going to march on the Bastille, which is a political prison. They are going to get most of the guards to change sides, and the prisoners will be set free, and the Bastille will be torn down. Every July 14th, we celebrate Bastille Day. Well, most of the peasants fear that many, most of the peasants fear that this here is going to cause even more problems. Now, the nobles of France, many of them are going to leave France. They become known as immigrants. This is where the expression immigrants comes from. They are going to leave France and they are going to ask for right to live in other countries. But all across France, the peasants are going to storm into the homes of nobility. If the nobility are there, they're going to kill the nobles. If the nobles are not there, they're going to ransack the house. They're going to look for all the financial records. They're going to destroy the financial records in hopes that they will have burned up any evidence of their debt. Now, this time in French history is called the Great Fear. Now, while all of this is going on, the new assembly, the National Assembly, is beginning to figure out what it wants to do. Many noblemen are going to renounce their nobility and join the, the bourgeoisie churches, are going to begin to collect money and pay taxes. Now the National Assembly was a legislative body and it called on a new constitution, a constitution that would limit King Louis XVI. Now Louis XVI was upset with this. Women of Paris who are without bread, who are without food, are going to march to Versailles. Which is, about, which is about 10 miles away. There they are going to demand food. They are going to demand that the king return to Paris and fix the problem. This is sometimes referred to as the Fish Ladies March. Now it is during this Fish Ladies March that it is reported that Marie Antoinette, wife of the king, when, when told that they have no bread to eat, was reported to have said, well, let them eat cake. The National Assembly is going to meet, and they are going to call for various rights of man. The Declaration of the Rights of Man is patterned after the Declaration of Independence. The Declarations of the Right to Man are going to call for liberty, equality, and fraternity for all people. So there is no first class, there is no second class, there is no third class, there is just one class, the one class of the French people. The Declaration of Rights of Man are going to call all people citizens, whether they be men or women. The Declaration of the Rights of Man is going to call for women be given the right to vote along with all men. The nation is broken up into what are called departments. This is how France is divided up today. 
Each section of France is divided up into a department. And the government is going to seize land from the church and from the nobility, and they're going to sell this land to the peasants in hopes that this will bring some money into the National Assembly. The power of the church is going to be diminished. Now, the bishops and the, and the cardinals had always been chosen by the Pope. The Declaration of Rights of Man say that the leaders of the church shall be chosen by the National Assembly, and that the leaders of the church and the Catholic Church will be under state control, not papal control. Number four, tax laws were changed. Businessmen were not taxed on the goods that they transported in and around France. So let's say that you are a businessman. Under the old estates general, as you would go from one place in France to another place in France, you would have to pay a tax. Under the National Assembly, the rights of man, we no longer have to do this. We only have to pay a tax if we go out of France. A constitution was written. A constitution defined what a citizen was. A constitution stated that all citizens had to pay taxes, whether they be just a little or a whole bunch. In all, the big winner from the Declaration of the Rights of Man was the bourgeoisie. But problems are on the horizon. We know that every city had a sizable number of bourgeoisie, but the city that probably had the most bourgeoisie was Paris. Now the bourgeoisie in Paris are going to give themselves a new name. They're going to call themselves the sans coulé. Now the sans coulé believed that the Declaration of Rights of Man didn't go far enough. The sans coulé mistrust kings and all the nobility. The sans coulé mistrust the clergy. What they wanted was an end to food shortages. And the sans coulé are going to place their anger first at the royal family and then, and then uh, clergy and former nobility. It is during this time that Louis believes that he and the life of his children are in danger. And Louis and his family are going to leave Paris and make a mad dash for the Netherlands, what we today call Holland. Along the trip, Louis and his family are going to be captured by the French army. They are taken back to Paris, where they are now held in a jail. The sans coulé is going to... Sorry about that, I got one slide off. It was during the time of the Great Fear, when many of the nobles in France are killed, that just about every country in Europe is going to go to war. Now, to raise an army, the First Republic, as it was called, this is the new government, is going to end the rules of the monarch and is going to call for all freedom-loving Frenchmen to join the French army. Now, the sans coulé is going to call for the execution of the king. The National Assembly at this time was taken over by a group of lawyers who called for death of all nobility and all clergy. These lawyers became known as Jacobians, and the Jacobians called for the arrest of all noblemen and their family. There, there would be a mock trial, and then the noblemen would be executed by the guillotine in the town square. This is the beginning of the reign of terror. Now some of you are doing reports on several of the lawyers who are part of the Jacobians. Others of you are doing reports on those who are members of the sans coulé. Make sure in your report you let me know which one is a Jacobian and which one is a sans coulé. Now, Louis himself will be executed in 1793. 
His wife will be executed a few days later. Now, Louis XVII, the only child of Louis XVI and his wife Marie Antoinette, will suffer in prison and eventually die of starvation. The reign of terror is going to kill somewhere between 20 to 40,000 French people. Eventually, the reign of terror is going to end when some of the leading lights of the Jacobians are going to be executed themselves. Now, it's important for those of you who are doing your reports. How did your guy die? Was your guy executed? If so, was he executed by the Jacobians? Or was he one of the Jacobians who was killed when the Parisians just got fed up with all of the blood? In 1795, a committee was formed to, to end the reign of terror. Now this becomes the second government in the history of France. When the king, when the king was overthrown, we have the first republic. And then the first republic continued until 1795. And in 1795, the first republic is going to end, and to take its place is the directory. Now the directory is going to call upon all French people to join the army and drive out the royalists and drive out the other nations that are trying to take it over. This is the beginning of what we call nationalism. Now this particular slide is going to talk about the reign of terror and the two governments, the First Republic and the Directory. And I think this would probably be a good place for us to stop because one of the members of the Directory is a Corsican soldier by the name of Napoleon Bonaparte. And soon Bonaparte will take control of all of France and he will be victorious in many battles of the Napoleonic Wars only to see him lose the last battle. Well again, this will be a good place for us to stop. Make sure that you do the walkout worksheets.